What was the relationship like for you? Again, I'm, I'm sure it's it's interesting because each position group, each player has different relationships. And I, I know guys joke with football players about the special teamers, and you guys are kind of like your own yeah. your own specimen of people, right? Like you're, you're like you're, yeah. you're, you're doing your oh, own yeah. thing at practice. Like you're, you're kind of yeah. off. The, but what was the? Uh, well, I guess what was your first interactions like, and that overall relationship like with Lou Holtz? So you're talking about at school? Yeah, just like um, yeah, when you when you're at Carolina, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, when you when you show up there, even if you're even if you know them from your family or, you know, when you get up there and you're part of a team, you know, you're just you all of a sudden just blend in as one of the teammates. You know, I mean, I did feel like he used to call me Ike. All the players in the team call me Ike because that was my little childhood name. Right. Um, and I guess throughout the years or the few times that I had met them or seen them in Orlando, he always referred to me as Ike. But the um, you know, I always knew. I, I'd say I knew him and Skip kind of always had my back from a uh, being young, being on the team. I had no preferential treatment, but I felt like, hey, you know, if I needed to go to somebody, um, that was like the only thing I had in Columbia that I had any connection with. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know anyone there when I showed up. For sure. I, I want to move to 2004 because, again, you know, Lou Holtz is last year, but you can't talk about this year without talking about that Clemson game. And the yeah. I'm just curious yeah. to get your your take because I, I was able to talk with you know J John Strickland, your former teammates, a really oh, good yeah. buddy of mine, and I was able to talk with yeah. uh, was able to talk with Chris White a couple weeks ago, and okay, you know, it's it's funny, it's something that kind of it slips your mind a bit, but then you think about the yeah. history of the rivalry in '04 that happened. I mean, where were you at during all this? I'm sure you weren't so right in the middle of the scrum, but uh, you know, yeah. So so what happened there, and this is my kind of take on what happened is it was a third down. Mm -hmm. so you had we had our punt team about to go out on the field um they had their punt return team about to come out on the field mm -hmm. um our offense was on the field their defense was on the field and if you go back and watch the kind of how that play unfolded it was after the play mm -hmm. seven eight seconds that people started running back to where the altercation was taking place um and you know, it looks like there were so many people all of a sudden on the field. And I think it's because we as a punt team was already out there. Yeah. They were already out there. So now you had pretty much four full teams right. out there on the field. I mean, I was there. I, I will say I was, I, I stayed away. I, you know, you don't want to get into a fight with some of those kids. So, <laughs> right, right. Um, yeah, I got some good pictures where I've got my hands up, but I, I wasn't really going to, I wasn't going to hit yeah. anyone, you know, so. Yeah. But that was, yeah, that was wild. That was probably the wildest game I'd been a part of. And then, then I'll ask you, just piggybacking on that, though, the actual rivalry itself and being a part of it. And again, we'll get into detail a little bit a little bit later yeah. in the conversation. But, you know, you close out your career in the rivalry, beating Clemson in 06, and you had a big hand in that, which, again, I want to dive into uh, a little bit in just a little bit. But just talk about overall being a part of that rivalry. And again, you close out your career and it getting a W. I know that had to be sweet for you guys. Yeah, it did. It did. You know, that's a – I got a lot of Clemson fans down here in Orlando that – um, I don't know why. There seems to be more and more Clemson fans popping up everywhere. Just as bandwagon. They, as they, the bandwagon as they, is growing. Yeah, as they win, there's just more and more in my neighborhood that are flying flags and all this stuff. So it, uh, but it was all, you know, it was great to have a chance that senior year to beat them. And, uh, you know, we struggled a few of the previous years before that. Um, and it meant a lot. You know, I didn't grow up in South Carolina. You know, I, my, mm. I've got some roommates that have been around, you know, one of them works for, the business and he's uh, uh Aaron Beasley he's a diehard Gamecock fan I mean I I never understood how big of a fan you could be until you go into that state and you see hey you know these people live and die I mean oh, yeah. Clemson game is the game mm. um so you know now kind of as I've moved past it you know the Florida game used to be a big game for me because I had a lot of Gator fans down here right um but just to have the chance to beat them part of that robbery was just special and it's it's got to be in, in my opinion i know auburn alabama fans would say the same but mm. i think it's got to be one of the, the the best robberies in college football 